Alright folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. I am Karok Avalron and we are back in Valheim. Today we have a unique seed for you. This seed has three maypoles on it, all on the starter island. Well, very close on the starter island. Um, you can get there pretty quickly, but what's unique about it is just the tag. It is Odin, all lowercase O-D-I-N, and that's pretty cool. Anyways, before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I appreciate it. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I appreciate the support. So this seed has three maypoles. They're mostly in inland, and they're often maypoles are in these little villages. Now this one's fairly nondescript. It's in the middle of the woods. It's got a few outbuildings with it. It's nothing spectacular, but it's one of three. Okay, so here is the map. Um, when I said that it's close to the spawn where you could run to it, that you, I, I don't think you can. Uh, you're going to have to take a boat over here. It's not that big of a deal, but you've got three maypoles, and we're going to go visit all three of them. Um, what's unique about this, though, is the fact that it's just titled Odin. Um, we're going to do the deep dive on the seed like we normally do. Um, this is one that I wouldn't normally play because I like to have the maypole seeds, uh, maypoles by the water. That's my preference. However, I know there's a lot of people out there um, that just use portals to get there, to get around, and this would work pretty well. So here's maypole number two. Um, again, not a bad little location. Now, the interesting part about this maypole is, is it's got multiple different uh, plots of raspberries. Now, normally when you find the maypoles, they're in little villages. You're going to have a couple of boars running around. You're going to have a couple of raspberries. That's not uncommon. To see this many raspberry plots, there's five there, two, one, three. I mean, that's not a, a lot of total raspberries, but you find them in these villages. They're, they're usually partially blocked off by some fencing. Um, that's a little unique. You could make this a really interesting garden center if you wanted. And aesthetically, it's not bad. You get a little pond over here with some necks. You got an open plain right there with a with a wreck over there. I, I think this would be good to set up like a farm right here. Now, if you were going to play this seed and you're just playing it solo, you may have each one of these maypoles as a specific location. Maybe one's a where you sleep, one's a farm, one's a... Um, construction area uh, you know your your you know your forge whatever anyways let's go to the third one tick check that out and then we'll take a look at the map the c generator to see how the bosses shake out etc all right so this one's a little further away maybe yeah not too bad um this one's closest to the water okay this one's actually not bad at all okay it's it's not right on the water, but it's close enough. This is where I'm going to build my base if I'm doing it. And this one, again, has pretty good resources. You've got some boars running around. You've got three, seven, nine, twelve. Did I get that one over there? Sixteen raspberry bushes in this area. That's pretty damn good. So you've got your boars, you've got raspberries, and you've got a deer spawn up here, where it's right there. In addition to that, you've got some wood resources here as well, piles of wood. There's seven piles of wood. That's actually not bad. If you've played Valheim for any length of time, you know that unless you're in cheat mode, one of the biggest pains is when you want to do a big build is you have to accumulate the resources. Well, you get to this maypole location and you've got wood at the ready. That's pretty good. You've got an outbuilding here, which is just one in the center. Um, it's okay. Uh, you, you know, you've got a little uh, a stone over here. These are great to to build stuff on. I don't know what this particular one is. Okay. Um, we've read that one before. Um, but you can build around this as well. But I like this maypole over here. Um, I may clear this area out so I've got clear access to the ocean. But... Again, the unique thing about this seed is, is three maypoles, 
in the C title is Odin, O-D-I-N. Now, I got this from Reddit. A guy recommended this to me on Reddit, and I really appreciate that. So if you're a frequent visitor of my channel, you know that I do a lot of Maypole discoveries. If you have a unique seed, uh, one with a maypole, or you think there's something special about the seed, let me know in the comments below, or you can reach out to me directly um, and let me know what the seed title is, the, the ID, and I'll go check it out. And if it's good, we'll do a video like this one. Anyways, let's take a look at the map. So, here it is. Um, I, I was wrong. You cannot run to this... <laughs> You cannot run to this island up here. Okay, you're going to have to get in a raft and get over there or go into cheat mode. Um, you might be able to run up here. Okay, that's the long way. Um, so, again, when I said you might be able to run, you probably can. This is probably really close. But either way, you're going to have to either swim it or raft it. So, it's technically not what I would call an easy run. Anyways, you, you'll, I'm sure you'll get past that. Here are the three maypoles. Not bad. You can see right here, there's that little blue. That's that little um, pond that I showed you at the second one that had the uh, neck swimming in it. That's not a bad location right there, right in the middle of that island. Um, uh, overall, decent resources here. You've got a little bit of a swamp right here, but... You know, you've got your black forest, you've got your meadows, and you've got a little bit of a mountain biome. So that's a pretty cool little island right there. Anyways, let's check out the bosses. Eh, they're okay. Um, not the greatest, but... So let's pan out. You're going to build at one of these maypoles, maybe all three of them. Obviously, you're going to be close to Ichthyr. It's not the end of the world. Um, the good news is, is... Motor is fairly close. Motor, for some reason, on a lot of the um, seeds that I find, it just happens to be way out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know why, but on this one, that's not the case. Um, but let's face it, the bosses aren't very close here. Um, they're not horrific. Um, you can run down to this one, probably, to this elder. You can probably get to this bone mass. There's your Yagloth, and there's your queen. I mean... It's not horrible, meaning you, you've got a couple bosses here, queen, there's your elder, and motors here. Overall, it's okay. It's not like they're all scattered all over. Okay, so I think overall for the bosses, it's mediocre. It's going to be a little challenging. You're going to have to have a boat. You're going to have to go get to them. But it's not the end of the world. And the and the the good news is is that if you're based up here, you should be able to run down to Elder and you should be able to run to Bone Mass. Now after Bone Mass, you're gonna have to pick one of these motors. Okay? If you if you're based up here, maybe you got a port, you can sail up here, and then this gives you access to the Yagloth here, and then gives you the Queen here. So I think that's the play. The other good news is is you're heading southeast right and what we want to do is is we have to be mindful that the ashlands is coming next now the ashlands is um going to be the next biome it's going to have the next uh, boss etc so having bases down around this area are probably going to set you up well for the ashlands down here so there's that let's find the trader um about the same story it's not horrible it's not fantastic um there's a trader over here there's one up here i mean this is what i would call a mediocre spread for the bosses and the trader you're gonna have to get to them via boat a lot of them but it's not outrageous okay you're not gonna have to be you're not gonna have to spend a whole night trying to figure out where they are sailing around they're fa it's fairly close and the nice part about the trader is is when you get in proximity it does reveal itself this one might be a good play up here the problem is is you don't it doesn't look like this access here okay um, that's probably going to be really tight, and you're going to have to get through a swamp. It's probably full of Draugr, etc. Now, you can come up around here, but then you've got meadow, I mean, uh, plains that you have to deal with, which is Desquitos. Your first visits to the trader, you don't want to have to deal with that. This one might be the play. However, let's take a look at Troll Caves, because that's where I like to set up my portals. 
especially for the trader. It's a cheap and easy portal. There's one right here by this trader. Easy peasy. You get down there, clear this troll cave, and close the entrance, put a portal in there, and you've got access to that trader whenever you want. I think that's the play. Um, so there's that. Let's take a look at the all-important tombs and crypts. Not bad. Um, you've got plenty of Black Forest crypts on the island with the three maypoles. That's what you want. That's going to get you your Certling cores. It's going to get you your um, your jewels so you can get to the trader, so you can buy the belt. That's good news. Um, this swamp over here is pretty good. That might be the play for, for your iron resources. Because otherwise, you're going to have to go find... Um, bone mass. Now there's a bone mass over here that's full of crypts. And the fact that there's a crypt right by this bone mass spawn is actually pretty important. You can use that as a kiting opportunity. So you start the bone mass fight, you're fighting it out with him, you get low, you can run into the um the crypt and it breaks aggro. He's not going to he can't attack you in there. Now uh, I understand the crypts are not exactly the safest place to hide, but it gives you some relief. And you can throw things on the ground inside of the crypt. You can get in there. Um, maybe, you, maybe you need another potion. Maybe you need a health pot. I don't know. That's good. That's what you want to see. This is, this is the type of swamp biome that you want. Filled with crypts. There's a bone mass close to the crypts. So you have options. Okay, let's take a look at frost caves real quick. Ideally, we want to see some right up here. Okay, we got one. That's okay. Now, the two motor locations, which is really probably where we're going to invest our time into the mountains. This one's got plenty. This one's got some. Um, everybody has a different way that they approach the mountains because a lot of the stuff that you get in the mountains and in the crypts aren't necessarily critical to get you through to the plains, right? Like, you want the silver so you can get the wolf hides. You're going to get plenty of wolf... I mean, to get the wolf armor. You're going to get plenty of wolf hides no matter which mountain you go to. Um, so I'm not worried about that. But, like, iron, okay? Iron is, is really what gets you to be able to reinforce your base to withstand the end game. Um, right? Because so you get those iron poles that you can reinforce... Um, the silver, you know, the weapons are nice, the armor's nice, um, but, so I think, and, and then with the, 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 uh, mountain crypts, there's some decent stuff in there, but I, I don't, I don't think you need it to get by. But anyways, that's the play over here, it's to this motor right here, which is good. And then, again, the same thing applies to motor as it did to bone mass. You've got this uh, mountain cave right here. You can duck in there and break aggro. Um, you know, if it's really close, you'd really have to get there. But see how they're, it's right on top of one another? The thing about the Valheim C generator map is, is you have to understand that things are a lot closer than what they appear. Okay? Um it just the way like you can see like this maypole here right when we visited this we're fairly close to the water here um but that looks like it's a little bit more of a distance than it than than applicable in game right like if you were to look at that you'd say oh okay this is a little ways in um so keep that in mind so let's see we did the mountains let's get a, let's get the ancillary stuff out of the way like uh, leviathans couple um it's not great okay so if you, know, you need to get an abyssal harpoon you want that um these two leviathans should provide you with that but otherwise if you want chitlin you're gonna have to really go explore there's some around but it's it's kind of a a, a ride let's take a look at beehives plenty buy this these maypoles you should have plenty of bees be queen bees are never really a problem um what you want to do at least in, in my opinion is you want to get four or five of them or four to six as quickly as you can and get them producing honey by the time you get to um the swamp you'll have surplus of honey and it's a good early start food definitely get those uh let's look for the 
boar spawns. Where is the useful runes? Where are the piggies? Not a whole lot, actually. Um, you've got a couple close to this middle maypole. So what you're going to want to do is each one of these maypoles has a little village around it. And those little villages always have boars scampering around. Decide which one you want to be like your farm location. Get an enclosure, enclosure ready. Start domesticating those boars right away because you don't have that many close by. And again, that's your early, your best early foods are deer, necks, boars, raspberries, and honey, right? So if you can start farming your own boars, it just makes it a hell of a lot easier. But anyways, that's those items. What other miscellaneous stuff? Not much. Let's take a look at the planes now. Now, I'm going to focus on this Yagloth because, it, number one, it's right on the water, so I can sail down there. Number two, there's just this sliver of Black Forest, which by the time you get to Yagloth, you should be able to handle the Black Forest, no problem. And you've got Mistlands right here, so I'm going to probably build a little base right in here somewhere. And actually, let's see real quickly let's go back to our troll cave see if we've got anything there you go look at that it's a troll cave right there okay that's uh, i'm probably going to put a portal in there and i'm going to have access to yagloth but the problem with yagloth is is we're going to need totems and the good news is is you're heading southeast anyways this island right here is all the totems you're probably going to need. You need five, um, but if you want, you can grab a few up here. You can grab a couple up here. This little one right here might be easy to grab. Um, I've had mixed success going after the camps, the goblin camps. Sometimes I get overwhelmed, honestly, but uh, there's plenty of totems along the way to get to Yagloth, so you should be all set there. Um, tar pits, that's for the aesthetic, so you can get the, um, you know, the new, uh, the build, the tar, you know, the build, the, the black um, siding and the posts, etc. There's plenty of tar pits here, you can farm that up, no problem. Let's take a look at the Mistlands. Now, as a disclaimer, I've traveled to the Mistlands, I've checked it out, uh, I haven't played it yet. What I mean by play it is I haven't brought a character all the way through to the Mistlands yet. I'm working on that. The ca current character that I'm playing, I'm playing on vanilla, no mods, no cheats. I'm about ready to, to defeat Motor at the making of this video. Um, and then I'm going to the Plains and then the Queen. So just so you know, I know what I, I know what what the Mistlands are like, but I haven't actually played it. So you're going to have to decide if you've played it or not, what it's like. Now, the way I approach the biomes, I always look at the biomes around the boss because uh, what I want to do in my gameplay is, is I want to find where the boss is and then I'll invest the time to really map out that specific biome so I know where everything is, get all the resources there, etc. Make my base around there, okay? Um, that's just me. Now, you may find a, a, a plains closer to these. You may go up to here. You may go here. I don't know. But for me, I'm coming down here at some point. I got a bone mass down here, too. I'm using that troll cave for a portal. It gives me access to the queen. So um, what I want to do, though, is once I get access to this queen, I got to figure out where is everything because it's, it's just a pain. So you've got your seeker spawns. It's a lot. The Mistland Swords, which is your source of iron. There's actually not that much here by this queen location. Not the end of the world, but keep that in mind. Um, there's one really close. But that's that. Um, giants. Plenty down here. That's enough. You don't really need more than that. And the buildings. Now these Diverger buildings, if if I'm correct, they do have people in them, but you can actually take them over and 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 build a base here. And and there's one right by this queen right here. So this is actually a really good queen location, with the exceptions of the iron. There's only three sources of iron by this. Not that there's a whole lot anywhere else, but um, it's really not that much. So I think. 
you know, uh, look, you can go wherever you want for the queen. It's pretty spread out. There's another one here. There's another one here. And if we really go forward, yeah, this one way up here and over here. Um, that's definitely going to be the play because you've got your Yagloth here. I think that's a pretty good Miss Lands biome. That's where I'm heading anyways. So it's nighttime, and here we are. We are at Maypole number three. This is a very unique seed. Again, not just because it's got three Maypoles, but because the title of the seed is Odin. Um, that's pretty cool. I never really thought to do that. I know a lot of people have put interesting names in. I think I did a, a seed discovery video a month ago, Elon Musk, which is actually a pretty good seed. You should check that out. Um, but Odin, Thor, Heimdall, Freya, all those Norse mytholog mythological gods' names. Um, it's interesting to see what those seeds provide. And on this one, it's given you three maypoles. That's actually quite a lot. Uh, I think it's definitely worth checking out if you're thinking a new playthrough. Why not? I think I would give this seed probably an, uh, an 8 or a 7.5. The seed, the, the bosses aren't great. The trader isn't great. The maypoles are solid. But they're not really close to the water. I think this would be a, a really good play for, like, um, a server where, you know, you're building villages uh, where people can live and use the maypoles as centers because you've got them all three pretty much in a row on the same island. I think that would be pretty cool uh, for a server development. You know, you have a lot of people playing on it, and then you just, you know, you're probably going to heavily mod that anyways. Um, if you're doing like a duo or a group play, it would be pretty cool. But even as a solo play, um, I think the, how I would do it is, is I'd probably use each Maypole location as a specific designated area. Like I said earlier in the video, one is a farm area, one where I rest, and one as a um, construction slash work site. Anyways, tell me what you think in the comments below. Is this a cool seed? Would you give this a shot? Um, what do you think of the maypoles, the boss locations? Uh, I think seven and a half, maybe eight is generous here. But three maypoles definitely bumps this up. I, I think an eight would probably be right about where this lands. Let me know what your rating is in the comments below. I really appreciate you coming by, taking your time to watch my content as always. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff really helps the channel out. I appreciate the support, and I'll talk to you again soon.